Hello and welcome. Today is a good day because I've got a Mossify update for you all. And this one will apply to the single biomes and for the full version as well. So if you have already got those, make sure to re-download them from Blender Markets or Gumroad, depending on where you've bought it. And just add it as your new Mossy file asset library, so the file path. Um, so I'm going to show you what changed. So there's two things. One is there were some requests to hide the emitter object. Sometimes you just want the moss, not the emitter object, um, which means that you can now just do that. There's at the very top, just a button to hide your emitter, right? The object that you drag your moss on, hide that. Um, and the other one is at the bottom. So this is our all the same settings, customize whatever you want. And then here we've got a wind animation setting. So when we enable that, Right away, you can see our wind is choosing an up direction a little bit. And so that is because of these default settings, right? I'm going to show you that there's wind going on right away. Um, if you don't want directional wind, you can just turn that off with the wind direction factor, right? And this is just going to be um, a direction of your wind. Um, and let me show you how that works right away. So what you can do is choose an object to have set as the direction of your wind. And what I will do is, let's say you already have a wind object in your scene that controls um, other things like particles or whatever in your scene already. You can just choose that object to be your Mossify wind object as well, right? So we can just choose the wind. And so now if you rotate this, you can see that our moss is rotating according to the wind as well, right? Quite interesting. And you can choose how strongly that is affected with this simple slider. Now, I won't recommend going all the way to 1. Um, I'm usually going to stick somewhere um, between 0.5 and 0.8, perhaps, maybe a little bit less. Um, and you can just rotate that and see how your moss changes. Now, if we play this, you can instantly see that the moss is showing some wind there, right? Quite nice. Um, the rest of the settings, we've got the wind noise skill, we've got the strength. You can make this chaotic, <laughs> less chaotic. Um, by changing that strength slider. Um, if you set this to zero, it is not going to move at all. Um, but if you increase that, you can make it subtle, you can make it stronger, um, you can crank up the frequency, which is basically how, um, how fast that wind is moving. So if you crank this up, you can see it's moving faster and faster, depending on how stormy your scene is. Perhaps this looks more stormy. And if you set this to like two, it is very smooth, right? For a calm scene, perhaps. Um, so that is the, the default settings, pretty much. Um, so make sure to have a look at that. Um, if I crank up my viewport port percentage, you can see it even better. Um, how it moves. Let me set the strength to two, perhaps, and make it a bit faster. You can so you can really see what is happening. Um, quite beautiful. Now, let's say you want to, um, you want to bake this to just make everything a bit faster. Um, what you can do is you can open up the geo nodes, and there's no real setting to get this out of the geo nodes, but it's easy. You can just go toward the end, and you've got a bake node. And you can set this to be animation, for example. Set your scene um, timings to be what you want them to be. And then you can just bake this. And um, to bake this, though, you need your file to be saved. So save your file first and save it where you want. And then you can actually bake this. And it's going to bake that simulation. And after it's baked, it is going to run your animation um, in real time, right? So we enable the FPS, we got 24, 25, 26. And no matter the biome that you use for this, right? Um, let's say we're going with something a bit more tricky. Uh, let's say we've got our um, a magical biome, which I believe, uh, maybe the snowy biome is, is a bit harder, but I'm going for magical because I like it. Um, let's say we've got magical with a maximum viewport dis uh, dis display, and I enable my wind. And if I now play this, we got 10 FPS, right? It's a bit, uh, it's, it's not completely real time. And for this one, I'm going to change my wind direction to be zero. And we will still get that wind without the directional effect. Turn it to 0.6. And of course, we can rotate this if we choose that wind object in the wind object settings. Wind, right? You can change your entire direction for the wind in an instant. And if you then play it, you have a nice windy effect. So if I now want to have this real time, we will just do the same thing. Go to the geo nodes, always go to the end, and we can just set this to animation, bake it. It's gonna take 
a few seconds to bake. It's nothing too crazy. And once this is baked, we're going to be able to just play this in real time, which helps a lot when you're trying to animate stuff. And little fun fact for you guys, I even animated the fireflies here so that they will have some flapping of the wings, right? You can't have flies in something animated and not have them flap their wings. So hopefully there's a little something just for you to enjoy. Um, and that is pretty much it. That's the update for now. Um, is there anything else that you should know? I don't think so. We can... Oh yeah, well, I forgot a setting. We've got to include extra assets as well. So let's say... Um, let me delete this bake real quick. And let's say we want to add some of those extra assets, right? So let's go to the asset browser. Let's go to the extra asset collections. And let's say we want to add some flowers, right? So I'm going to drag in that collection for the flowers. There we go. And we can just move that to the side. And then we can set the extra asset collection here to be the flowers. There we go. And let's just crank up the density so we can actually see some of these flowers in our scene. There we go. Now, these flowers are not by default included in the wind animation. <clears throat> Excuse me. For a simple reason, and that is because the extra assets can also be shells, for example, right? We got shells, we got roots, we got sticks, we got rocks, mushrooms, and not everything has to move with uh, the moss. But let's say you only have things in your extra collections that can move with the wind, like flowers or magical strings, then you can include these extra assets in your wind system as well, which means that they're going to follow the same direction, the same animation, so everything will move with that um with that wind animation for now i really hope you enjoy this wind feature and if you do please leave a like a comment subscribe i'll enjoy any one of those and then i'll see you in the next one cheers